Most people think to the level of competing in the age of Amazon that all they have to do is put something on social media. All they have to do is, is make a post. And if you've watched my show, you'll know that I talk about how many social channels will limit your reach or the number of people that your posts will reach, especially if you're doing it from a personal profile, say on this particular social channel where your limit is 5,000 friends, right? I mean, how are you really competing? How to compete in the age of Amazon. Now, uh, let me stand up because, well, no, 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 I, I'll, I'll sit down because I don't want to get too hyped, but I do want you to know how serious I am about today's topic. So what I'm going to do right now is ask you a simple question. How are you competing in the age of Amazon? I mean, what are you doing? It, okay, say if you're an attorney, okay, say if you're a therapist, say if you're a marriage counselor, say if you uh, you own a car dealership, say if you have a bunch of product that you sell in your stores that may not be moving, how are you competing in the age of Amazon? So uh, what I'm going to show on my screen right now are, are just a couple of services that most people, they, they've heard of these services, but maybe they don't really know the full extent of these services and how these services actually affect uh, 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 you know, small business, which by the way, in this country, what is considered a small business basically varies, uh, from industry to industry. However, uh, um, we do know that, um, there are over 30 million businesses in this country and a vast majority of those businesses are small, uh, mom and pop shops, uh, small businesses, they're not big franchises. They're not behemoths like Amazon or, or, or eBay or, or, or any of these huge companies that, that you know about. So they are uh, uh, your local mom and pop shops. They are your competition. But because of technology, your competition is now everyone, Okay. It's not like you're competing with someone right down the street. Now you're competing with someone around the world, okay? And you might say, well, how is that, AJ? So let me just go over these services real quick with you, okay? So there's Amazon. We all know who Amazon is, okay? But uh, Amazon has a diversity of businesses. But what a lot of people don't know, and I just literally saw a commercial for this the other day, uh, on television, on cable television, on uh, CNBC, um, a vast majority of the people that sell on Amazon uh, are, you know, or products that are sold on Amazon are sold by what uh, individual sellers or business owners in other places. OK, and that's why Amazon is such a sophisticated billion with a valuation of one point one trillion dollars. Yes, they're just that huge. So if you are a mom and pop shop. Uh, selling, say, you know, uh, widgets or T-shirts or whatever, you're not just competing against, say, another shop like yours. You're competing against the Amazons. Okay, um, it's it's not here on the list, uh, but Wayfair, for example, most people don't know that Wayfair is just like Amazon. Wayfair doesn't have inventory. Wayfair allows third-party sellers to sell. Uh, uh, to sell their furniture online. They just handle all the logistics just like Amazon, right? And what's so beautiful about uh, like Amazon and how they actually, it's beautiful in the sense of how they do business, but at the same time, it hurts you if you're a local uh, small mom and pop shop. And when I say small, I mean, hell, you might have 50 employees, but it still hurts you if you're not uh, using uh, 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 websites like this to actually sell your products on or even services because honestly you can pretty much get anything you want on Amazon hell if I wanted to get my house painted on it uh, I can go to Amazon and search local pros in the area and I can get my house painted so boom they're digging into Angie's list okay they're digging into home visors they're digging into all of these uh, uh, these businesses these review sites they're digging into your the local sites, so you're competing against multiple uh, people, not just 
down the street mom and pop shops. Okay, so what's beautiful about Amazon, like I said, um, Amazon has such a sophisticated uh, 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 system uh, of third-party sellers, people selling same products and services that you're selling, so much so that when they discover something that's really, really working or that really, really sells, Amazon actually creates its own version of it. They call it Amazon Basics, or and then they, they basically rip it off. I mean, it's their platform. Think about it. It's their platform. The same thing with eBay, right? eBay used to be uh, um, a site where you can actually bid, and it still is, but now you can just straight up buy off of eBay. eBay. Everything from clothing, like the same thing if you're a small mom and pop shop, you're selling clothing, uh, like some like uh, you know uh what's it a- active athlete down down the street if you're selling stuff you can, you can buy stuff on eBay and Amazon right you don't have to go to at, uh you know uh to a store like that because of convenience so my question to you is how are you competing what about Carvana i talked about Carvana the other day or Preve right Preve uh Preve is on demand uh uh glam okay you know, you can go download the app and someone will actually come to your house. They'll, they'll shave your beard. They'll dye your beard. They're, 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 you know, cut your hair, give you a stylist, dye your hair. They'll do all these different things that literally used to take you hours to do. Or if you own uh, a shop, right? If you, if you're a hairstylist or you're a barber and people are tired of waiting in the chair, waiting for you to cut their hair or waiting for you to style their hair, all they got to do is use this app. So you got to start thinking about how can I compete? And what about um, where it used to be lawyers charge all these, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars an hour just to get advice from them. Now you can do it for a little bit or nothing. You can even do it as a subscription on Ask a Lawyer or even TurboTax. If you're a CPA out there, TurboTax now has live CPAs. OK, uh, Talkspace, if you're a therapist out there. Michael Phelps, you know, the Olympic swimmer, you know, the most quote unquote, and I know this is not proper winning this. OK, uh, 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 Olympic swimmer is a uh, is is a celebrity endorser uh, of talk space, which is therapy. Right. In other words, you don't you no longer have to go into someone's office in order to uh, to get the therapy you needed or the marriage counseling you need or whatever. So anyway, what I'm saying to you is simply this. How are you competing in the age of Amazon? Are you doing the same old shit? You know what I mean? Are you an attorney that's saying good? Uh, I mean, I mean, attorney that's talking about we don't get, you know, we don't get paid unless you do or a car dealer that's pushing the same old tired message, good, bad, no and slow credit. Is that was that what you're doing right now? Are you a counselor or a uh, or a uh, or, or a therapist uh, that's relying on word of mouth in order to get your to get your customers? Right. How, how are you competing? OK, so that's what this thing is really all about. OK, so that is a serious question that you have to ask yourself. How are you competing in the age of Amazon? And I can tell you, most of you are not competing well at all. And, and I'm just being honest. Um, you know, when we were heavy in the marketing space, that's think grids. OK, we were heavy into the marketing space. I would go and I would have meetings with, say, uh, furniture, furniture stores. Right. Uh, I had one meeting with this furniture guy, and this guy told me my clients, my customers, do not buy furniture online, okay? This was about three years ago. This guy is out of freaking business right now. He's out of fucking business. You want to know why? Because he did not uh, uh, see the need to, one, sell his stuff on, on Etsy. He didn't see the need to do that, right, to, to list his stuff on Etsy. He also did not see the need to even have uh, uh, an e-commerce website where you can literally post your stuff online and sell it. He didn't see the need for marketing. He thought if you built it, they would come, right? Same thing with attorneys that I've dealt with, okay? Same things with attorneys that, you know, they figure that once we start getting them business, that they would no longer have to uh, to market themselves. And I would always ask them this simple question. I'd say, well, if you feel so established now, 
Uh, you know, what about McDonald's? What about Burger King? What about Wendy's? What about all these companies, these iconic brands that we've been knowing about forever, including Coke and Budweiser and all these different companies that we've been knowing about forever? But guess what? They still market. They still advertise themselves, right? So, but they're in a better position because they have big budgets and they know how to compete in the age of Amazon, meaning they know how to leverage the best of traditional media as well as new media and new ways of actually engaging customers in order to get, you know, to get the, the response that they need. You know what I mean? And that response is people actually partaking or purchasing of their product or service. They know how to do it. So I'm asking you seriously to start thinking about how are you competing in the age of Amazon, right? We have this product on our website, right? Because we do the whole digital asset management uh, and consulting, right? But we have this product called Red Skews, where we literally can take your product or service or say stuff that's sitting in your bins, right? Say if you own a store, stuff that's collecting dust, and we have a way of being able to put that on multiple platforms and sell that for you because it's all about digital asset management. And for us, that's digital supply chain management, that's uh, inventory management, that's all these different things, uh, and, yeah, it, uh, payment gateways, and all you know, encrypted websites and all those different things that most people don't even think about. You know what I mean? Most people think to the level of competing in the age of Amazon that all they have to do is put something on social media. All they have to do is is make a post. And if you've watched my show, you'll know that I talk about how many social channels will limit your reach or the number of people that your posts will reach, especially if you're doing it from a personal profile, say on this particular social channel where your limit is 5,000 friends, right? I mean, how are you really competing? You know what I mean? Is your marketing right? Do you understand digital asset management? Do you understand how to protect your, your, your customers' uh, information? I'm just posing these questions to you. I'm not necessarily giving you the answers, but I do want you to start thinking about how you're going to compete in the age of Amazon and, and stop doing things differently. How can you compete with an Amazon, an eBay, an Etsy, a, a Carvana, a Prive, or Ask a Lawyer, right? Or TurboTax or, or Talkspace and all these other different services that now with the advent of the most powerful, uh, most powerful computer or computing device ever is in your hand and is in the hand of your consumer and all they have to do in order to order a service, it's just a few simple downloads, a few simple clicks, and a purchase. So think about it.